What's going on, you guys? This is your boy RBG, aka Random Black Gamer, aka S Review, aka Chapter Black, aka Dark Eco. Here with my girl Johnny Lee on the ones and twos, and you already know what it is. This is We Ain't Seen It, the place where we act to everything that you guys present to us that we haven't seen. And today we're going to continue things off with some Black Clover. One of the trademark things that we like to react to on this channel. It's become the most watched thing on this channel and it's all thanks to you guys because the Black Clover movie is strong and we know that you guys are dedicated fans who just want to give the this franchise the attention it deserves because it got out to a rocky start with a lot of people. We know how it is nowadays with everybody riding the wave which is understandable because this show is that good but it had its detractors that were basically hypocrites that just wanted to jump on it now that it's popular. But we have really been enjoying this series haven't we Johnny? Yeah. Like, it has been amazing. Like, the last three episodes we watched, which was, I think, uh, 13 through 15, were excellent, where they just introduced um, some new characters that are from a different kingdom called the Diamond Kingdom, which is basically like a rival kingdom or somebody that kind of, you know, rivals uh, the Clover Kingdom. I'm pretty sure we're going to start seeing more and more of these kingdoms that pose a threat, but this is like one of the first ones we've seen, and they've just come in and they've just been, I don't know, they've been plucking niggas left and right. They did my girl wrong, you with the the diamonds hitting her in the ass. Yeah. Like, they did her wrong, man. Like, what was your overall thoughts about the episode? Because I'm getting tired of talking, and I got a lot of spit in my mouth. I'm ready to watch this one. She's ready to watch this one. I mean, you know, it was pretty good. I was I enjoyed it enough to be ready to watch this one so quickly, so I just ready to watch it. She's ready to watch it. But, man, let's go ahead and get into it, because my brain is just fried today for whatever reason, guys. So, bear with me. But, um... Yeah, here's the episode. Childhood trauma. Just do what I ask. How many times do I have to tell you? Dinner, clean your goddamn dishes. Why like that? Get mad, cross, do something normal. Why were you born a defective freak? Oh my goodness. Terrible parenting. Yeah, this is dark and kind of weird. He definitely has a dark side to him. That's I suspected. You probably deserve it, hell. You actually beat a noble using your magic. No, don't try to get on him now. His mom is an opportunist. And she's abusive. She's probably a narcissist. How are yours to win and win and keep on winning? In this world, nobody's going to help you. You have to help yourself. Poor kid. Use the power only you possess. I'll do it, Mom. If it'll make you happy. That's all he I'll wants. I'll make his mom happy. <laughs> Cuts to him present day with the same face. When? Something tells me this is not going to go well. He might kill this guy. In spite of my magic, he's only got the The diamond dude or the diamond dude might kill him? No, he's going to kill the diamond dude. Why does it sound like JoJo music? Sorry. I'm afraid Smoke creation magic. Binding cross prison. Mm. This smoke is solid. I can't move. Oh dear. That particular spell uses so much magic power, I'd hoped I would be able to avoid casting it. I'm downright exhausted now. But at least you won't be hopping around anymore, youngster. You're Hop along my surprise. And now it's time to see how my own youngster is faring. I know that should have left more than a grave. Honestly, you can tell this is kind of censored. Getting through to him mm. sometimes. Maybe it's the generation gap. Like a wild boy. 
What is up with all these sexy boots? <laughs> I am Groot. Now that's tight. That's almost like a fancy bed. Mm -mm. <laughs> I those diamonds would be a lot stronger than that. Yeah, they're diamonds. I thought so too. Their sign has magic power decreasing either. They make it seem like it's just ice or something. Right, you know. Or a little crystal. Yeah. Head to the treasure hall. He's extremely strong. Are you sure you can handle him without backup? Stop questioning me and do as I say. We're out of options. I don't like leaving this task in the hands of a commoner. But for the good of our kingdom, we will complete our mission. You. Boy, I'll stick my commoner boot straight it's down his throat. <laughs> The moment he leaves, your ass gets defeated. Yeah, I just gotta accept the fact that this is a whole different generation of commoners, bro. These commoners are way more stronger than y'all. Yes! That's even the odds. Let's go. These motherfuckers are the wild cards of these teams. Yeah. I guess so. Why? What's up? What are you doing, you imbecile? I was thinking. Well, hello there. And who are you? <laughs> Your worst nightmare. Like she about to give birth on that bed or something. What were you thinking coming back here, you imbecile? We have a mission to complete. And that means getting to the treasure hall even if you must go alone. First, we defeat him. Then we go to the hall together. That's it. Teamwork. We taking the W, baby. Let's go. He's mine. Look, wait. He's my prey. Win. I will win and dedicate my history to I, I'm not even gonna lie. I want to slap him too if he always had that look on his face. And I was like, Mom. Why would you want to slap a kid just for looking happy, though? I don't get that. No, he doesn't look happy. He looks disturbed. Maybe just one time, just to make sure. It's like, you good? <laughs> but no, I really wouldn't slap a child. Is that all? This really isn't the time to hold back, you know. I'll do it. I'll win. I have to. For you. I need her to accept me. Oh. Or I'll be all alone. Oh, bro, you got friends. You go ahead and do what you got to do, look. But so will I, got it? I have to beat him on my own. <laughs> Sorry, but that just isn't happening! Yeah! Oh, he doesn't know. I'm not dead! That's a nice picture. Mm -hmm. Sorry, Mom. It turns out I'm not alone after all. Let her know. Damn. And then there's no sure way he just doesn't do anything. Exactly. Well, this isn't a good turn of events. If that's you better show out. Be, no, you can do it. <laughs> Smoke creation magic. Prison of the Fallen King. Poor foolish little children, there's no escaping now. The thing about the Black Bulls is, we don't lose to anyone! That That's right, here. bro, let's get it. Time to go. This ends now. Let's Order. go. What kind of new spells you got up your sleeve, man? Bless you. Thank you. Creation magic. Engaging Swift White Hawk. <sighs> 
See that bless him. He, those little blades that he shot the last time when he saved Austin them. So he can materialize stuff to a certain extent. Mm -hmm. That's it. That ain't gonna do shit. Oh, it's, gonna, it's probably gonna take what's his name, you know, meeting up with them to clear that out. It's like being in a room full of stoners playing 2K. The same feeling. <laughs> Luckily, I have never had that happen. Mm -hmm. He's inside the smoke. He can move really fast, and he can pick up on magic power quickly too. Our best shot is to find a way to blindside him. But how? When he can sense our magic? You gonna exhaust yourself, my man. This spell is effective, but it uses a very high amount of magic power. So he's gonna have to hurry up and get out of there. Young like you three, but I can do this all day. Of course, it would help if I could actually see my opponents. Don't get any foolish ideas. I can sense your magic power, so sneak attacks aren't going to work on me. It would have been great if the moment sneak attacks came out of his mouth, somebody had a bat in the back of his head. <laughs> sneak real. attack! Oh shit! Because like, yeah, it's continued bluffing and shit. So I think that's what it is, like both of them, like they, they're depending on their partners to meet up with them eventually. All you're doing now is wasting your power. I suppose it all comes down to experience. I've likely been in more battles than all of you combined. I knew it. I knew it was gonna happen eventually. <laughs> oh, you greedy dirtbag. It was bound to happen, man. You used to light. Using every drop of my magic and in a fraction of a second so we wouldn't notice. Up you go! <laughs> <laughs> and I'll stop with no magic power to give him away. Attacked. Smart. Mm -hmm. I figured that was what they were doing. You know, you were right earlier. Is that an item that she used for her magic? Looks like a wand. Yeah, that's what I mean. Oh, I know. You're saying one of those items like, like, that bought her to help. Yeah. I don't know. So I don't see other people using wands. Yeah, I've never seen her use that before. Mm -hmm. Well, he looked hard. <laughs> Ooh! A giant diamond claymore. Cash money would want that shit. They'll waste all their money on that. Cash money records? Mm-hmm. Like Birdman. He wouldn't even... for the nine now to the two block? Yeah, he wouldn't even pay his taxes. He'd just buy shit like this. Well. And not pay Lil Wayne. Be gone. That was episode 16 titled Friends. And what a noteworthy title that is because that seems to be the undertone of this episode. Friendship and not taking an advantage of, you know, or not underestimating the power of friendship, which is kind of cliche to say in a way, but that's what the, both factors, you know, both uh, factions need. They need friendship and teamwork because like these guys are on a whole nother level, you know, and they got their own little tricks. Uh, but what did you think about this episode? I love this episode especially that I don't know they always put the good stuff at the end of the episode but the whole thing was pretty good um I really like that game plan they came up with though because that was a really good plan and it worked mm -hmm. so I was like you know I know they're gonna get out of this some way just how and then that was the way they end up doing it so yeah it's like they used all three of themselves in different parts to come up with something good and then you know we're getting back to you know it looks like he's been suffering a little bit. Uh, one thing that I will say that is uh, 
uh, that I got to slash a point off of is the actual animation of that episode because it did look a little rough. It's like you know looked weird. You know, like you said, he looked tired. He looked kind of weird. Yeah, you know looked weird. I noticed Asta looking a little weird a few yeah, times. Yeah, and Lux, but... Lux uh, body ratio looks off when he has the gauntlets and stuff on. It's like one minute he seems short, but then mm-hmm. when you see the boots on and the arms, they look. Yeah, it looks like like. Some, like gorilla proportions yeah something. yeah it's kind of weird you know so it's this is definitely one of those episodes where i was expecting to get a little more sakuga style animation especially with luck powering up and this episode kind of tailoring around him and his backstory but you know it's it's not that big of a deal it was just kind of noticeable in certain instances um but it was good to see actually you know see a little more background with luck and understand why he's this kind of like jovial happy-go-lucky kid that just yeah. loves to fight all the yeah, time he, all he wanted like i said when i said i was gonna slap him because of that face that was i was making that up but i wasn't making it up when i was playing it's like because when you kind of hear his backstory it's like oh shit all he ever wanted was to please his mother and him being himself pleasing yeah. his mother didn't work it's like he died without his mother's approval and that's something he's been striving for after her death and i feel like this was like a breakthrough moment for him on this episode where he finally was like you know what fuck you mom Uh, i can be happy doing whatever i do i am not alone and i have friends who like me and fuck you (laughs) aside from the animation being a little wonky at times like I said, I have to grade this one on a slightly different scale since it, it did start out a little slow and the animation is not that great. I'll give it a B, a, a straight B, okay. maybe like a, a 80, 84, 85, one of those, yeah. Well, folks, there you have it. We both give it Bs. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into episode 17. If I'm going to be taken prisoner, I'd rather die. Hmm. <laughs> They always punk out and do this shit, man. I thought he was finna have the train run over himself. Yeah, we do remember him running away the last time Luck encountered him or he acted like he wanted to run. Yeah, he did start running. Ugh. I forgot those dudes existed. Yeah. Yes, my anti smoke creation magic. Nothing like a ride in the hustling lazy car. How much fucking magic do you have left? Everyone doing all right? At this rate, we're going to have I thought these to dudes were dead, man. Well, Me too. I'm sure Mars it's looking like they're all about to join the fight together. It might not like. forget. He is the Diamond Kingdom secret weapon. Diamond Kingdom Mage. Mars would be his damn name. <laughs> Such frighteningly sinister magic. Look at the stance. Strength and yet he's helpless. Those embedded gemstones. I've heard of them. My favorite they rapper had some of those. Yeah, that's your favorite, favorite rapper. We need to. I'm See, not saying that was my favorite rapper. I'm just saying that's what you know would say. I'm being funny. They select children gifted in magic from a young age, subject them to fierce competition. And embed magic heightening items into their bodies. Okay, so this is another one of those items, see? In the end, they must fight one another to the death. It's some fear of Bradley shit. Mm. This is unacceptable! I will not allow this travesty to continue! Now! Steal creation magic! Spire! Hmm. Quick close circle! That's a big no no, bro. He's Ooh. cheating! Look at this shit. That's cool. That is cool. See, now it ain't breaking no more. It's a clone that can actually move? Damn. <laughs> that is scary. Boy! Clean! This motherfucker hasn't he said crazy nothing face. but what one word since he came in. He did. He said a word. Yeah, that's it. He just said one word. He's like, get out of my way or something. Okay, now the animation is looking good. Yeah, even though that's, I think that's CG. That looks good to me. No, that wasn't CG. Well, I know that is CG, but yeah, that's what I'm saying. That yeah, it's CG. It looks good. Yeah, me. that's a cool. 
And it's very intimidating. Okay. This one. Ooh. Well, I don't know this. Sacred armor! Let's go! This nigga on some sense we shit now. It looks cool. Mm, wind slash. It's no use. I wonder if Asta could cluck him one good time and break them diamonds. I was I was waiting for that to happen. I was thinking that might be what's gonna happen. Boy, I could take a lesson in perseverance from this guy. <laughs> There you go, Swagger Jack. If you got to, man, I know that ain't you, but I mean, you can just move out the way if you wanted to. What I tell you, it's gonna be a cakewalk. We told each other. I told you first. But I already knew that was going to happen. And you stole my idea, saying that you thought about it too. Isn't that right? No. Hey, you. Freaky looking pale dude. Keep your hands off this guy. You know it's not yours to fight. He's my rival! You must be kidding. <laughs> Just when I thought I had paid my debt to you. I can't believe it! I finally catch up to you and you're two seconds away from being killed! Were you just gonna let that sucker beat you? Mind your own business, Asta. Yeah, you could have easily moved out the way. I'm gonna be fine, come on. You know it, you're a wreck! You were totally about to die! No, I was about to launch a very damaging counterattack. Look at me trying to put up the side again. I was waiting for the right moment. This dude is probably like, how dare you insult my presence? Yeah, then he's just waiting. Like, come on, bro. Lock the cherry berserker. He's the third mage sent from the black bulls. I'm being rescued by that ragtag bunch of lunatic misfits. He is really having a mental breakdown right in the middle of the fight. I need to get over it. Sense department. Damn. <laughs> but that's all right. You just happy you get to talk your shit. I'm here now, and I will protect you. I got me a sexy magic wand. I'm gonna kick some ass. Mm -hmm. Are you the person who did this to the Golden Dawn? And what is it to you if I did? It is the strong who remain. I will say he has the coolest oh, armor. He do. Oh. Got his. Little army of background dancers. Right? They look like some background dancers from Madonna or some shit. From that damn Buster Rhymes and Janet Jackson video. They do look like that. To destroy those like you. Yeah? That's You know what it is when you see the veins in the legs. You gonna mop the floor with that shit. I fully intend to. Mm. Just snap it in half like Run a on little it. shit. Yes. Mm. I ain't none of that, homeboy. Get that shit out of here. Ooh, we knew it was coming. Tried? You know what I love? What? That we didn't have to wait too long into the series to see him really show out. No, it's like he has it. He, he has a lot of stuff. That he can use, you know, it just depends on the enemy sometimes. Bitch, you ain't never seen nothing like him. 
Give up! Did his armor come off? It looked like it. You done stepped in the quicksand now? You have, boy. You done stepped all the way to quicksand. Oh god, that is so funny. <laughs> <laughs> Now, ain't that funny? The most prestigious group that everybody just highly touts and stuff like that is having a hard time, but the misfits are the one to come in and start showing up. Right. And the biggest misfit of them all is who defeated the main baddie. Commoners who? Commoners where? And he's just standing there making it worse. He is. He's powerful in his own way. Asta has the ability to nullify magic. Nullify it? Truly? But a commoner like him is beneath a power like Next time somebody say commoner, I'm putting my Perhaps fist down their teeth. <laughs> such a skill. Was it luck or something else? You can tell just by watching him. Well, come on! What are you done already? Where your homeboy at? Yeah, some tell me he's gonna come in and save him. Mm -mm. He finna like do something where he has like a diamond megazord or some shit. I'm about to say, not the eye. <laughs> Behind you, bro. Trying to surround you. Austin! Nah, you were standing there turned the other way. Now you won't yield. What did I tell you? Like he was right. I already knew it. Like I said, any, like I bet you anything, you gonna have some kind of di like diamond giant mech form. Tell me, boy, what are you? Sure, I'll tell you. I'm somebody who was born without a single drop of magic power. What? He has no magic at all? Then it was just sheer luck that he's so good. And I'm still gonna be the Wizard King. The resilience? All I have to. And I will prove that I can do it. Get this guy Gatorade sponsorship. How much time has he spent training? All the time you spent complaining. Can he really mean it? Of course he mean it. Told my boy shirt up and shit. This is the cool heroic look. This that alternate costume where you know they mean business. Yeah. Whoop your ass costume. I, I live only to destroy. That's why you live to destroy? Well, the wizard king lives to protect his kingdom and his people. Okay, never lose the country's That's why we are right? I will never lose. Not to somebody like you! <laughs> Just laying there. You're in my way. Be gone! Pebble! Sure, I might be a pebble! But if so, I'm going to be the pebble! To shatter the tyrant! Yes! Shatter it! The music. Bash that dude's head in, please. He need to be gone for real this time. <laughs> like then you had everything under your little belt. You had the little diamond jewels and shit up on your forehead. Giant sword. Right, you had the little diamond the mech. They even gave you a fucking outfit. Right? You had uh, minions of yourself. <laughs> and you failed. Uh, I'm not sure. You see? You can do anything. About three more minutes. Okay, so this episode is pause it. I have the power. All right, man. That was episode 17, bro. We finally got to see the teams get back together and show what they can do as a cohesive unit. Yeah. You know, like I always said that Asta and Yuno would just make the perfect duo. You know, you mm -hmm. have the 
the overachiever who's basically destined for greatness and I just spit on you I'm sorry about that and you have the one that's kind of like got the cruel you know the short hand of the stick but mm -hmm. he actually has a strong powerful and effective ability that you know aids him in a lot of situations that might not aid in the average magic user so it's been crazy you know just seeing all these characters just progress and get better and seeing how some characters even though they might have it all in terms of magic they still hit a you know they hit a wall yeah, from time like to time the, i always forget the guy's name but the golden dawn dude that's always in charge on the mission oh to my klaus yeah the karen haircut guy <laughs> the he, karen haircut. he is just so caught up in what he thought was reality oh commoners shouldn't be able to do this oh commoners aren't supposed to protect me i'm the golden dawn oh it's like he was so caught up in that that he just stood there when everybody else was handling business he was just kind of standing there like a stick in the mud because he was just even just that yeah, animation of him losing his mind he is so else. by the books and he wants to do stuff like a strategist but that doesn't always work all the time you know ultimately he does need help you know which is what you know felt he's like he knew that he was gonna get plucked if he left, you know what I'm saying? So he stayed there and held it down yeah. until my boy Oster had came in with the save, which we we already knew was yeah, like, that was, that was gonna nullify that diamond armor that that dude had on. But it's just funny that this dude had everything under the kitchen sink, all the different items to actually amplify his diamond abilities. But Oster just and basically you still just, got yeah, just fucked them all up. Train still got yanked. That is yeah. something else. Yeah, I, but I, I it's like, dang. If that dude had all that and Asta beat him pretty easily, I'm ready. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be some really dynamic characters coming up that are really strong that probably are gonna take way more out of Asta and the whole gang. I'm sure. Uh, and one thing that I noticed too, like you can kind of understand now why Yami, you know, like basically recruited all the members of the Black Bulls because in a way they're not necessarily weak. It's quite the contrary. They yeah. are super powerful. They all have a story. It's not, they're not by the book. They're the riff, raff, rap scallion. Yeah, they're the people that nobody necessarily wants to deal with because of how powerful they are. You know, like my boy, uh, Luck, nobody probably wanted to deal with him because they couldn't understand him. So seeing that now, it kind of makes me understand now why Yami is such a father figure and why he just puts up with them so much in their destructive nature because I don't think any of those other people that are top tier would deal with them especially from a destructive point of view because you know it seems like that castle over there where the black bulls are requires a lot of maintenance but we're going to move on to the next episode which is episode 18 see you guys there there that should hold him what the fuck is he eating collard greens are you sure that binding spell is going to be enough? Are you questioning the spell? I don't think it's going to be enough. It's a sturdy spell that will be broken by an injured mage. Plus, I have his. What if his diamond is strong enough to in, like pierce through Here, the metal or some shit? Diamond is unbreakable. Exactly. I think I'll pass. I'm so relieved that none of us were seriously injured. She healed her ass. Are you sure you should be up and about already? Oh, yes, it's fine. I'm mostly healed by now. I have you. Well, they look a little bit weird on this episode. <laughs> Don't start commenting on how they look now. I only noticed the stuff because you pointed out first. No. Well, you have my gratitude. Still cannot believe we needed the assistance of the Black Bulls. Make it over yourself, bruh. It's a big world out there. Y'all just been so stuck up in y'all little hierarchy. Thus are the winners of the competition. However, this once, I will allow you to accompany us into the treasure hall. Looks like it's made of magic, so you should be able to slice right through. Have that. All right. Please, as if you'd be able to counter such powerful magic. Okay, Mr. Kingdom Hearts. You did that with ease. They do look a little weird. They do. Mm. Something's gonna go wrong. It is. This is too easy. It just seems like you can just walk up in there like it ain't nothing and grab all that. Yeah, but they did just go through a really tough battle though. Maybe that, maybe it is this easy, but maybe it's not. I don't really know what to think. They literally got attacked with valuable items in the form of diamonds. 
They did. Ooh, I need to move on to them. It's like if Michael Jackson was a superhero, he had a damn cape. Mm -hmm. Well, I fiddle him all right <laughs> with my fist and his damn nose. <laughs> Didn't he just save you? It's like that he, ref he refuses to acknowledge that because he feels like he's so high. Beneath him and stuff. Yeah. Mm -mm. That looked like something from JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. It looked like uh, something from Naruto, like a scroll or something. Yeah. What's this? That writing. I've never seen it before. Is that something that's going to power him up? Is it a new spell? Maybe it appeared up in your grimoire. What's going on, you know? What was that light? I don't know. You shouldn't have touched that. Now put it back where it belongs. Weird. <laughs> Come on, Queen Nero, you're making it down here! <laughs> I don't know, Nero seems like he has a good sixth sense when it comes to certain things. He does. He be leading him in the right direction. Right, because he finds valuable items and shit. It's me and you, man. I keep saying it. <laughs> And then when he's done leading you to something, he attacks you. That would be me, but I would attack you with love. Mm. We'll learn one day. He's not dead. Or he's not subdued enough. Why did I know this was gonna happen? You've been defeated like so many times now. Man, He's back is, in his Megazord. This shit is real, bro. He ain't leave without that treasure. No. Impossible. My binding spell should have held him. Come on, man. You know Literally that you suck work. right now. You have not been able to contribute anything in this episode. Nothing. Is that flame recovery magic? Wow. Man, this dude, he is on steroids. What a crazy ass look on his face. I still want to know what his motivation is. I understand that he was made for war and he has the name Mars, but what exactly is his story? His... Yeah, he has a story just like everyone else. Stupefy. Bitch. And you sat there and watched her. She, she did. Oh, shoot. You done messed with the wrong side chick. The wrong one. Seems that sword of yours destroys any and all magic. But what if the magic is faster than the blade? Hmm. Yeah, that would be something that would be a Achilles heel for him. That sword is too bulky. But his physical prowess is strong! The bird told you to go in there, and you didn't. He gonna listen to that bird one day. That is right. so you and me. I feel like, I feel like him and uh, you know are gonna get upgraded or something, because you know just got this mysterious scroll. We'll make that bed for. Oh! I need me some of that. Like some from Wizard of Oz. We don't need no flashbacks, man. Come on now. Girl, I uh, bet it sucks knowing that somebody that's lower than you 
It's already matched their abilities. It bees like that sometimes, man. After you didn't talk all that shit and talk down on everybody. Hard work is for the weak and powerless, not for loyalty. To us, everything should come easily. You needed to train, that's why. You've always worked hard, and I've always admired you for it. Oh Lord, he coming. <laughs> Only those who saw the side, but we deserve death. Only those who saw the side, though we deserve death. Somebody gotta do something. This bird is the only one who has common sense. How did I not know it was a new sword? How did I not know? It's going to be a lighter sword that's a lot faster. <laughs> exactly. And she tried to tell him. She's going to assume that this bird is a girl. I think it's a boy. It's probably a boy. But I don't think it... Did it say he or she? It said he. It did? Mm -hmm. Oh. What about that rebellion? Where did that sword come from? Your mom. From Sparta. <laughs> he could use both. I think he is gonna start doing it because we saw that in the openings. Yeah. Not really spoiling anything by saying it, but. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Big dog, boys! Bop! So that's an actual physical sword that can't be summoned, though. Seems like it. Is that her boo? You would like to know. I kept seeing it like this. Right there, it's so prominent. What is it, the power of friendship? Looks like it. My friends are my power. That fan is killing me. You're just complaining about that. Oh, cool. I wanted to be a butthead earlier when I was trying to turn it off. I mean, I don't know. I'm cold. So that sword can absorb magic while the other one nullifies it. What a twist. I mean, I'm pretty sure we've seen that coming eventually. I didn't know that part. I just thought he had another sword that was slightly faster, lighter and stuff. Oh. So he has a sword that, that can yeah, absorb? Yeah, because when it was, like, I think he was using, it was either Magna or Noel. He was using, help. they was helping him use their power to. Oh, oh it's a new shit. grimoire? Oh, he got stabbed, I'm sure. It's a new grimoire. I thought it was like some kind of book for the soul. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this dude. What's happening? That sucks. He done got stabbed. 
that you didn't did some badass episode go off. Oh man, I don't know if it feels a little different up in here, but something's off. Anyways, guys, uh, that was episode 18, Memories of You. A little back and forth with the flashbacks in the main storyline, but for the most part, we see why they had to go back, particularly with Noel and um, Mimosa. Uh, mm -hmm. Basically, we discovered that Mimosa was the one that looked up to Noel. Mm -hmm. You know, and Noel always put up a, up a facade that she was this like talented royal, together, like she didn't yeah. have to train or nothing like that. But then Mimosa had caught her struggling and trying to do some shit with them little water bubbles. But you know, that kind of harped on the issue at hand in the main story where mm -hmm. she gets injured by Mars, from what his name is. Uh, so, you know, she's out for the count, you know, and they have to figure out what they want to do now. And for what I see, from what I've observed, it seems like, you know, has some kind of upgrade, but they haven't really shown what it is. We just saw like that scroll that he picked up glow. And I'm thinking, yeah, yeah I'm thinking, so that, I'm thinking that that might, that might've been a new spell and like it disappeared from the scroll. Maybe it went into his grimoire, but they didn't have time to check because Icy McGee. Yeah. Or I keep saying ice, but yeah. shoot, icy McGee they call diamonds ice <laughs> decided to come out. Yeah, ice ice trade the game and man. um ruin it again in his Megazord that he created with his fire rehabilitation magic, and everybody just got all discombobulated and and like finally Noel did try to stand up and do something and she got yanked away and knocked down. It's like she got a. A freaking diamond through the boo when her uh, cousin got a diamond through the butt before right. <laughs> so it's just like boy these people keep getting diamonds in the worst place i know this guy seems like he's just souped up and op as shit though it's like they just gave him a lot of things to make sure that he can be effective on the battlefield and like he has mm -hmm. these jewels in his forehead which basically amplify his diamond abilities and he has something that can actually you know coexist with his main ability which is like he has fire now which right that we're fire. learning more about how these things are you know you can only possess one element at a time yeah, or, so, yeah you're supposed to only be able to present to possess one element at a time but then we seen a flashback of his saying okay you must die now and i was like yeah it's like they're not really wonder exactly i'm pretty sure we'll get it with yeah, we'll the next episode or two exactly what that's all about because i'm curious because he's kind of he's kind of one note you know he's just a yeah, very he doesn't speak very much you know just he came there to do a mission exactly and go home very stoic character only has one mission on his mind which is be a weapon of destruction and destroy them mm -hmm. there's not really made specific what he wants or if he's looking for something within the dungeon but you know it's just whatever he's looking for he's trying to get to it but this new development with Asta's new sword that seems to be able to um it, it either I would say it either enhances or absorbs magic I think we'll kind of see more of it I'm sure coming up but seems like it actually is compatible with magic it doesn't deflect it so in another, I think it was Magna or one of them when they were fighting in Saucy Village doing something together or like, yeah, no, what they were just doing when they came up with the plan um, within the smoke room with that dude mm -hmm. to throw Asta. Yeah, and, she yeah. threw him with the water bubble. Yeah. Launched them. Yeah, it's like, I can't, I don't know what I'm thinking of. Anyway, whatever I'm thinking of, they have to help him, um, his sword help deflect the magic and mm. fix the issue versus this time the sword absorbed the magic and fixed the issue. And the bird, who seems to be the only character with some sense, is the one who was trying his best to lead him there. It's like he knew he was going to need it pretty soon. And Asta, you know, it's like, oh, you pesky bird, which I kind of can't blame him. Yeah, I wonder if that's going to become a reoccurring thing, though. Like, are they just going to not acknowledge the fact that this bird keeps leading him onto things that are, you know, that could benefit them in the long run? Or if it's just going to be this annoying character, you know, that's basically the only one who has sense up in this story. That's yeah. just like my whole mood right now. When I'm watching some of these episodes, like, okay, that's obvious that they're going to get something that's going to help them win and turn the tides, which, you know, Asta has some absorbing magic power friendship sword, which mm -hmm. I'll, we've already seen in the openings that he's going to use it, like, 
while he's using the big sword to the, the magic reflector. And I don't recall any of that. Like the magic reflector is gonna be the, the sword that basically just clucks the shit out of you while the you know, the magic absorber sword is just gonna be the one that helps him I guess, I don't know, become like a zone type weapon, it's, like shoot projectiles. Like, since he doesn't have magic, it's going to help others to help him and help him to help them, if you will. Like you said, the power of friendship really is what that kind of seems like. It's like y'all have to work together for this to work versus yeah. his anti-magic sword. He literally does not need you for that. Exactly. Yeah, but yeah, um, this was a good one. Yeah, it was, it was a really good one. And it's, we're getting closer, guys. We're, we're getting, getting closer. closer to the... To the episodes that y'all said were really going to be like where you really, you know, where it really picks up. But it, it's picked up already for me. Yeah. Um, it's better. I think it's better. I mean, for this, I would give this. I give this episode a B. Yeah, I was going to give it a low B. I was, yeah, I give it a B. Because um, uh, Mr. Icy, uh, he, you know, coming back. I kind of. I since Klaus is the one that had to subdue him, I knew he was coming back because unfortunately, um, Klaus. Klaus sucks. is the most incompetent by the books character I've seen so far. It's like it's like he makes himself suck. They just come up with their own de facto rules that oh, if you're not a noble, mm-hmm. you're automatically useless. Why is it my shit better than yours? You're a commoner, right? And he just really wholeheartedly believes that. So it ends up backfiring on him because he he had to be saved by the so-called commoners or the rapscallion black bulls like he likes to call them or whatever he says. It's like he you had to be saved by these people. You but it's like I think it's so embedded in this world that like if you are a commoner or whatever, you know, you sh- you should you shouldn't be able to do this. Right. So it's been in such embedded into this culture, I guess, that he's so used to not used to this. So it's like he can't, even though he's seen it before his, his eyes multiple times that these commoners are doing much better than him, it's been drilled into his head that this shouldn't be possible. So he can't wrap his head around it. Yeah. It's like we already have one person that actually believes now that these people are more than just commoners, which is Noel. She has that, you know, it's like that perspective change for her yeah. when she met Asta. And eventually, you know, I feel like Klaus will come around. And, Everybody's going to have to come around. And eventually. like once he does come around, that'll make him more effective and actually make that team dynamic work yeah. a little bit more. Because it kind of seems like he's still playing by the books. Oh, you get behind me. I got this. When, you know, they can be a little he more. He don't got it. Yeah. You know, so yeah, but that was episode eighteen, guys. I, I I see you guys probably may have noticed that we have different outfits on compared to the the last re- reactions that we did, and that's basically because the power, the power on this camera, man, it is off the chain, and sometimes it just goes haywire, and I had to charge the battery, which we did not feel like doing, so we waited another day to react to this episode. <laughs> so I uh, hope you guys bear with us. We are working on getting an AC adapter so we don't have, don't have to worry about charging this battery all the time, and uh, we can just actually just keep uploading or just keep recording consistently. Yeah, because sometimes I do just want to sit here and keep going. Half the time we're doing these after midnight, so more, more times than not, if yeah. I look sleepy, it's because I am. I have not. Yeah, I don't know if you guys noticed midnight. that. Yeah, it's like I stutter way more like when it's like late and I'm tired and I'm finna do a yeah, react. Yeah, we've been reaction. doing things during the day and it's like, like Johnny like, has on the fucking Bray Wyatt Firefly Funhouse <laughs> sweater and I have. And this on, shirt is actually most of the shirts I'm wearing and these reactions are not mine. That's her shirt, guys. She she wanna be like this Bray is not Wyatt. my shirt. I don't know. Who I literally shirt bought you this shirt. Who shirt that is? This shirt. This is not my shirt. You but know what I'm saying? Mr. Bill Cosby eat the pudding. You don't say that. You got jello pudding. Oh, pill. Go ahead and put the Molly Jolly up in pill there. Bill Cosby, man. No, um, but no, if I look sleepy or you see me yawning, it's because um, yeah, it's it's usually pretty late when we're doing these, especially with me starting a new job now. It'll be late most of the time we're doing these so yeah but we actually have partnered up with vimeo for like the full episodes on patreon like we don't have to worry about any copyrights anymore because that's what's been kicking our ass and kind of stifling us from getting these things out at a very consistent rate for you guys always trying to find ways to bypass 
TV Tokyo and all these other different sound bites that they try to copyright. So with Vimeo, we don't have to worry about any of that because they don't have any kind of copyright stuff. You know, we basically just pay a certain fee and get like a certain amount of gigabyte storage so we can just upload as many episodes as we can to you guys. But that's if you're on Patreon. But that's though. only if you're on Patreon, so man. So if you're on Patreon, you won't have to see Lupin the Third in the shot yeah. of the Yeah, it's like I know you guys keep complaining about Lupin the Third being up in like the transparent video clip that we have up here. You know, but you know that. Now, but that's. Maybe we should let. I mean, are you gonna? We're not gonna. Anyway, yeah, maybe some of the old videos on Patreon might still have it, but ever since we figured this out now, so all the new videos on Patreon will not have that. They won't have that stupid copyright on it. They won't have any of that. Yeah. You can see the full unedited version of the show and our reaction um, instead of on YouTube. We still have to fight the copyright system, so it'll still be there. Yeah, so you know, if you if guys want to see, see the that, full version and you want to see it early, but if you don't mind, you know, hey, stupid copyright it is. Yeah, some people don't mind. I only have like a few people that just complain about that. Yeah, but once I tell them, they they're more understanding of the of the situation. But YouTube is pretty tough. Yeah, but we're gonna go ahead and bring this to a close because we are tired as shit, and we got another anime to react to called Bible Black which is one of my favorites but anyways guys i hope you enjoyed this reaction uh be sure to check out the patreon if you want early access to them and be on the lookout for our next reaction for this you know so yeah we ain't seen the reactions i hope you guys have a blessed one peace out